Yes, yeah, it's courtesy of my bad. Um, the final case I it. Um, this has been a pin post actually. This has kind of blown up over time. Um, it's got over one thousand fucking upvotes, so clearly everybody's kind of feeling this. This is courtesy of the final kid sub. It said BGL wasn't lying about those California investigations. Um, look for Thick Boy. Um, Thick Boy has some issues. So this is taken, I guess, from the California side of things in terms of you know finding out lawsuits and maybe. Um, disputes in terms of work employment stuff and if you scan here you can see because BGL mentioned in the comment that there's three separate lawsuits or three different claims out at the moment and they're all to do with the work that BGL did right you've got Tiger Fick so he said he helped out with Tiger Fick doing captions running the fucking Instagram you've got Fick Boy Productions which would you imagine encompasses all the shows they do on there from Fighting the Kid to Food Truck Diaries to maybe his show and whatever else and you've got Fick Boy Studios which is probably him maybe doing some stuff in the studio maybe some front of house stuff I'm not really too sure but clearly there's three different claims here for different parts of it the funny part about it for me is the fact that Brendan has registered an LLC LLC sorry um LLC, sorry, with the uh, Fick Boy. That's the funny thing about me that there's legitimately an LLC out there with the with the fucking term Fick Boy written in it, which is fucking crazy. Um, if you scroll down a little bit, you'll see here different categories are in distilleries, arts and entertainment, recreation. Um, you'll see who is listed on, and you see the status at the moment is currently under investigations. So clearly, this is a big issue, and this may again explain part of the reason why with the uk tour was cancelled if you got this stuff happening and you might have to pay and sell out of court and shit you don't want to be wasting money going to london and this also maybe explained the whole story that unix posted and blew up about um bgl saying that brendan is owed some money by caa and stuff so that might also explain why we've not seen as many food truck diaries we've not seen as many fight companions because he maybe doesn't have the funds to pay external people to come in and host these shows and shit so maybe we're in the last stretch of this fucking brendan Schwab arc i don't really think so i think personally the guy has clearly got money clearly comes from some level of money which has basically afforded him the ability to live the lifestyle of a, a retired you know hall of famer nfl player or something even though he's a very average stand-up comedian um maybe below average and a maybe average podcaster it doesn't make any sense why he lives a life where he's driving ferraris and lamborghini trucks and lives in mansions it's just unnecessary really obviously most of it's to do with keeping an image up or whatever it may be but it does kind of make me think without carrying people's pockets that there's maybe a bit of like you know fugaziness going on there so maybe if you don't have the incomes coming in to cover all that shit even if you're leasing it i remember someone mentioned in the chat that to lease a lamborghini truck was like two grand or something but that's still two grand you know it's not fucking 100 dollars. you still have to generate a lot of money to kind of cover that nut and i think you know i don't know how leasing cars work it's the same as leasing a phone but at some places is it one is it a rolling months contract it's something that you sign for a long time over six months wherever it is there's a lot of outgoings you know brendan's outgoings are probably crazy like if you think about it just off of your head the guy's got two kids or one kid that's in private school he's got a wife at home that only is a stay-at-home mom basically he's obviously looking after her paying the mortgage under her mansion whatever bills that come outside that come from that house the car notes the gas like it's a lot of expenditure coming out of his account if you include the fucking salaries and shit the stuff he has to pay for the stuff he's paying fucking chin for the other guys that work there there's a lot of outgoings for thick boy so you know you need to generate a lot of money to keep that shit going so it wouldn't surprise me if a lot of reasons why we're seeing some you know some little road bumps in along the road here with brendan and his company might have to do with the fact that this stuff is happening in real time the funny thing is most likely brendan what will happen to him much like the unique thing he, su he sues unique for an issue that he feels like he was you know justified to doing so then he ends up losing the fucking case and most likely he's gonna have to pay him money so you know fucking all for nothing re reputation do it but i honestly think in this case I think, what did BGL say? BGL said he was owed like 16K or something, right? Most likely, imagine if this happens and he ends up having to pay BGL more than 16K because he was too tight, too proud, 
um too angry or whatever to pay the 16 grand so you know he ends up gonna, he's gonna end up fucking fuck himself over if you just would have paid the 16,000 when it was meant to be paid he would have been all okay you could have swept it under the rug but now he's got a disgruntled employee ex-employee in BGL who legitimately hates him like BGL maybe hates him more than some people in that fucking subreddit right he legitimately hates him because I think the subreddit guys just discuss a podcast but BGL really fucking does not like Brendan so he's gonna he's gonna really see this through i think so he's gonna go into the ends of the earth to get his money or to bring as much attention to brendan bad attention so he's basically forced and shamed into giving him the peas so this is a bit crazy to be fair very very crazy and in my opinion um is further proof that um you know the business has never been correct back there man never been correct he did the whole thick boy thing to sort of like stick it to fucking showtime and prove he could do it on his own and bet on himself and it's been an unmitigating failure really i don't necessarily see even why he did it get you know get let go from showtime my my fucking thing that i would have done as soon as that because i feel like that showtime check paid for a lot of things over there he probably would never say so but i think the showtime monthly check that they got probably paid for people's salaries it paid for fucking equipment. It paid for rent and shit. If that was me and I lost that chunk of a guaranteed income and maybe some built-in sponsors, I would just fucking streamline. I'd just focus in on doing the fucking, you know, the fire on the kid, maybe doing some, you know, what you call it, live stream fire companions here and there on my own, like solo, because I think he could do that. I think Brendan, I know he's a redact, but I think he could do a fucking watch-along UFC fight card obviously it would help if you could read the chat but he doesn't because he's afraid of fucking comments and shit but if you could just sit there and have the chat on screen and just fucking do a ufc watch along i think he could do pretty well with them on his own just doing so drinking whiskey getting fucked up and just chatting shit he could actually make that work but he doesn't so if that was me and i got fired from showtime i would just focus on the fire and the kid and that's it i wouldn't go out and just go out and fucking I'll buy a new fucking swanky studio to make myself look good i wouldn't buy a green ferrari you know what i mean i wouldn't do all those things just to, for an image thing because who was he doing all that stuff for he's not doing it for his fans he's doing it to fucking show off to the you know to to basically prove to the fucking haters on the final kid subreddit that he's still successful it's unnecessary and now it's probably going to end up costing him to the point where he might end up having to sell some shit like jamie you know I and that's going to be the biggest l that's going to be a hard one to take for the ego and shit so um big up the person who posted this it looks like something is rumbling there bjo has got some claims in the works free going so far tiger fit claim a fit boy productions claim and a fit boy studios claim that are currently under um investigation so we'll see how this plays out it's probably gonna be a long protected thing because bjo i feel like got fired like a year ago it feels like it might be even not that long ago but it feels like it's been a long time and I've got a feeling, you know, the wheels of justice over there don't turn that quickly. So it's going to be a while between we see it actually fixed and figured out. But hey, um, it seems like BGL was telling the truth. And it, there is some shit going on behind the scenes that we aren't too privy about. We have to kind of wait and see how all that shit plays out. <laughs>